Okay, with the recent changes in terms of interest rates and overall inflation, let's talk about what it's like to be a buyer in our real estate market here in Santa Cruz County in this changing environment. So there are five ways to stay on top as a buyer if you're looking in our market. The first way is to consider your competition. Keep in mind in our area, there is a strong buyer demand and there's very low inventory. So it's likely that you're going to be competing against other buyers if you're interested in a property. It's just important to keep that in mind. Now, the other way is to consider what you want versus what you need. I'll give you an example. Let's say it's very important to you to be in a certain school district or be in a certain neighborhood. Just consider, would you be willing to buy the crappiest house in that neighborhood for the upside potential? Meaning if you were able to buy that house and slowly upgrade over time, earn that sweat equity, would that be a good fit for you? If so, you may wanna consider it because it may be the best financial decision for you in your circumstance. Then I really want you to keep in mind if it's most important to you to get a deal in our market, meaning you're just not willing to pay listed price, which you're gonna be up against stiff competition, but let's just go with it for a minute. If that's most important to you, just keep in mind, what are other ways that you can make your offer attractive? Because everything's a trade-off and there are a lot of terms in a contract, which means you're gonna to have to consider your terms as well. So there are lots of tools within your tool belt to make your offer attractive. Don't be stuck on the price. There is so much more and you can be really creative. So keep that in mind. The next, and I think this is the most important, is to be familiar with market trends. So you're going out and looking at houses, that's all well and good, but what matters is what a property actually sells for. So take that extra step. After you go and look at a property, if it's not the one for you, be sure to check back in and see what it actually sells for. So you can start to kind of categorize things and be able to get a sense of market value. Then, and this is a big one, you gotta be financially ready now. So if you're a cash buyer, consider having things fluid, talk to your CPA. And then if you're a financed buyer, you've gotta have that pre-approval. There's none of this, once I find a house, I'll get it straightened out. You've gotta get it ready now. So those are the five ways to stay on top as a buyer. And if you have any questions, just shoot me a message.